In a previous video we made this part, the rocker arm, and we based it off of this dimension drawing. And that dimension drawing is recreated here. So this is what we're going to try to reproduce in this video. You'll notice that there's lots of dimensions. Let's break it up a bit. So there are four dimensions associated with the rightmost cylinder over here on the arm. And there are two with the middle cylinder and two with the left cylinder, three associated with the arms, one with the section view of the large arm, and a section view of the smaller arm. So let's take those each in turn. First we're going to place the center marks where they should be and also the center line bisectors. And then we're going to tackle the right, middle, and left cylinders, followed by the arms and section views. So first things first, after we place the part into the drawing file, we're going to tackle these four dimensions. Here is a blank template. So I'm going to place a view into this template. And the front view is not very helpful. So I'm going to take the right view, and that's what we want. So this is the drawing that we're going to dimension. So let's take care of these four. So let's first do the 1.24 outer diameter here. Go to the Annotate tab and Dimension, and 1.24, and that matches what we want. Let's now take the diameter of the inner part of the cylinder, and you can see that it is a has some tolerances associated with it, and so let's do that. So let's come here, click here, and you can see that it gives us a radius. Shout out to David H for reminding me that we can right click here, go to dimension type, and hit diameter, and we'll go there and you'll recall that this is a stacked tolerance method so in inventor its limits stacked and goes from 0 0.590 to 0 0.595 okay so those seem to match okay let's go ahead and take care of this linear distance from here to here so let's zoom up and from here to here. We'll pull out and this one is out to three places after the decimal, 0.656, so we look okay there. Now let's make the width of the keyway here, and that is 0.13, and we can move it over to the other side to make it look more like our target. So I think these three are complete. Let's double check. Looks good. Let's move on to the middle cylinder. So let's do the outer diameter first. Come here to here. And I think that is okay. And now we have another stacked tolerance for the inner diameter. 0.750 to 0.755. Let's do that. Primary tolerance will go out to the thousandths point and limits stacked and we get that and that matches well. So I think we're okay there. Let's move on to the leftmost cylinder, and again there are two. Here we have the outside diameter is a little bit smaller at one, and we have another stack dimension here. Let's do the outside diameter from here to here. And for the primary unit, I'm going to put zero in order to get that one without places after the decimal. And the inside diameter, here is another stacked tolerance, so 0.531 to 0.536. So we're going to have to come out to thousandths, limits, and the upper one will be 0.536. Okay, so I think we're good here. Let's move on to the arms. So let's do this one first, the 4.125. And what we'll want to do here is 
we'll do what we forgot to do, which is to put these in the center marks, and also we'll want to put in the center line bisectors, like so. And now we can grab that point and that point and come up. I'm going to go up kind of high and it goes out to the thousandths of 4.125. Let's do the this distance from here to here and I'm going to pull out and if you go too far it's going to pop horizontal or vertical on you so I'm going to stop right there and say OK and then I'm going to drag it out a bit. Whoops. Got to hit right click OK and pull it out like this and I, okay so we're good there now for the 30 degrees how do we do this well the way I'm going to do it is the following I'm going to create a sketch and I am going to make a line that is coincident with this extension line and then I'm going to make another line from the center here that is coincident with this extension line but actually to make sure it's um, coincident, I have to have that at 120 degrees. So if I click there, OK. Now this 120 degrees, I don't want to see it because I want to dimension it as 30. So I'm going to leave that sketch and I'm going to come here, click there, click there, and come up to here. OK, and I think you'll see now that uh, with the exception of the uh, section views, this one and this one, these two, I think we have everything completed. So we're going to stop here and pick it up in a s subsequent video.